Hello, good evening uh, to everybody here. Um, I'm seeing that it is connected, Mr. Gaviria. Uh, good evening, sir. Welcome. And also, I have to Mr. Miss uh, Escobar. Good evening, sir. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine, sir. Uh, well, I've been I've been working. Um, in, in, in some things before uh, coming here to this video conference. So that's mean I feel a little bit tired. And um, well, uh, I hope that you can enjoy this uh, video conference because we are going to learn a lot of things tonight. We're going to see um, a topic that you have on the platform. And also um, we're going to be working on some exercises. Uh, so welcome. Uh, let's see, Miss Miss Escobar, are you there? Uh, Miss Escobar, I can hear you. Well, I saw that you opened your microphone, but uh, I think it's not working. Okay. Okay, I can listen you now. Okay, I can listen you now. Ah, okay. <laughs> I don't know what happened with this. But <laughs> okay. Good evening. Okay. Good evening. Good evening, Miss. Uh, what have you been up to? <coughs> Sorry. What have you been up to? I don't understand you, sorry. <laughs> oh, it's another way to say, how are you? What have you been up to? Uh, really? Yes. Ah, uh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm so tired. You're so I tired. spent the whole day in my computer trying really? to, to work in the homework. We're oh. still in this with my classmates. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Uh, but that homework is from the university. Yes, it's from the university. Oh, nice. Where are you studying? I'm studying at Unicaes. It's in Santa Ana. And I'm studying engineering system. Oh, engineering system. System engineer. System engineer, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, well, that's that's nice, that's good. Um, well, I have here two to Mr. Ramirez. Welcome, sir. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Okay, uh, Mr., how do you feel today? Mm, well, it's always the, the days is it's so hard because I I'm building a, a three houses. Three houses. Oh, yeah. It has different floors, or it's just uh, three different houses in different positions. They have two floors. Two floors. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And, and they are uh, townhouses. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, nice. Good. That's and, good, sir. And I have a. And I have a little time to finish it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. Okay, sir. Well, welcome. Uh, we're going to start in some minutes this video conference. We're going to be working some exercises uh, tonight and, and we're going to show any topic and I will show you. Um, and then, well, we're going to discuss a quote that I, that I have. I always I like to start with a quote uh, during video, the video conference because in that way, you can tell me what you think. Uh, you can tell me um, your own criteria about some things. And, and in that way, also, you can practice your English. That is something that we must do uh, or we must improve uh, because this is this is the objective of these uh, courses because um, one of the things that is most difficult in learning English is speaking. Uh, and why? Because it, sometimes we don't have the opportunity uh, to express ourselves with, um, with, someone, with someone else. Uh, and 
well, we maybe sometimes we don't know people who speak English and, and um, we can um, keep a conversation with people. So for that reason, it's that in, I try to create those spaces. Okay, I try to create those spaces during this video conference because in that way uh, I can listen to you, uh, I can give you a feedback, and also uh, you can be practicing uh, your own vocabulary. Uh, let's see. Um, here, just read, I, I hope that uh, the rest of your classmates can join uh, this video conference. In, in some minutes, but we're going to start because uh, we are we have right now uh, eight with eight minutes. Okay, um, let's see. Here I have the quote, and it says, "When you reach the end of your rope, tie a knot in it and hang on." Okay, when you reach the end of your rope, tie it a knot in it and hang on. Uh, well, I want to listen to you. What do you think about this quote? Let's see. Ah, okay, we're going to start with Ms. Escobar. Um, okay, I don't understand the meaning of the quote. I'm sorry. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. You don't understand. Um, it, it could be in this way. So when you are working uh, so hard in your life, mm -hmm. and you think uh, that you achieve all the things that, that, that you, all your goals, okay? All your goals. Uh, mm -hmm. What it said, what it's mean here is that uh, if you feel comfortable, if you feel okay, and if you think that you are happy with the things that you are doing, you can uh, mm -hmm. try to tie to that positions that you are and not let it go. Mm -hmm. I think that if you are, I think that you feel comfortable with the place where you are, with the things that you um, that you did it, but you can do more. You can. Okay. Okay. You can. Good. I don't know. You, you can have more goals. You can do actions to make actions to to feel more comfortable or be ha um, happier or to just to help people. Okay. Okay, very good. Yeah, you have a different opinion from this. And that's okay. That's okay because um, uh, this quote, it's not just for uh, agree with this. No, we can disagree with, with this quote too. Uh, because um, sometimes we as humans being, uh, we are always trying to uh, get something new. Uh, sometimes we don't feel comfortable with the things that we have, even though that those things um, can be like, or happiness or, or can, can give us happiness or, um, or well, we just feel comfortable and, and, and we like what we do. Uh, but we are always trying to, some, well, some, some people uh, are always trying to uh, get something new, get something more. Uh, they expect more things than the things that they have. And that's good. That's a good position, and, and if I, I consider in that way, okay, the, I consider that if I um, if I feel comfortable with something, uh, well, uh, I can set new goals, okay. I can set new objectives in my life and say, well, I'm here, but what I'm going to do is to improve. I won't do anything. I won't do anything that let me go back. Uh, so, so what we have to we have to uh, do um, is like follow a path that let us uh, bring uh, new things, but things uh, that make us better uh, better person. Okay. Um, let's see, Mister. 
Mr. Lopez, are you there? Hello, sir. Can you listen to me? Okay. Hello, you listen? Good evening, sir. Um, what we're discussing this quote. Uh, what can you tell us about this? Oh, uh, when you write the end, you will be tired. This, um, it's complicated. Yeah, I know. Um, Mm -hmm. uh, um, it's, it's complicated. I, I, I don't understand. Okay, you didn't. Uh -huh. Okay, got it, got it. Okay, um, got it. Sir. Um, yeah, well, I can explain that to you. Don't worry. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what what I was explaining this before. I don't know if you were here when I said that uh, sometimes when uh, we think that we achieve all goals that uh, we set for our life, or or well, it could be a, a, in any position like a like a work, like our profession. Uh, or professional things, things like that, okay? So it says that when you reach the end of your rope, okay, and we, when you feel comfortable about it, when you feel happy about it, and um, you think that uh, you don't need anything else, uh, what you can do is like tie a knot and hang in it, or say, uh, um, in that way means like, uh, don't let it go. Don't let go your happiness, okay? Uh, I don't know if you can understand that way. Uh, what I what I want is that you can tell me your own opinion. It it could be uh, different from the, the the meaning of this quote. It could be different. Okay. Uh, maybe you agree or disagree with this. But tell us, what do you think? Do you agree or do you disagree? Um, I agree. You agree with it? Okay. Okay, very good. Uh, Mr. Castillo, good evening. Okay. Uh, good afternoon or good evening, every. Um, for me, I agree um, in different situations and the life is possible to uh, defend their the position, defend their, your opinion, uh, the security for the and, and some situations in your job, in your uh, personal life, to put, um, is necessary uh, to fight uh, for the, the, the real, uh, real knowledge statement, uh, real issues or or, or, or to obtain the results um, or you in this moment you have um, you have um, um, uh, the affirmative um, uh, whenever results uh, is possible in the position, all the people, another people, or the neighborhood, or the co-workers, and disagree, but it's defender 
defender uh, and to and to take uh, an all all result in the uh, defend defender that that different. Uh, uh, I don't know because it's defender the um, uh, the result the objects the goals too. Okay, all things that you achieve. Okay. Yes. Okay, very good. Thank you, Mr. Castillo. Uh, well, that's true. Um, that's that's something important, uh, and, and you already said, it, sir, um, that we have to fight for the things that we want. It's not like just a, okay. I, I don't want to move from here. I don't want to. Uh, uh, well, I, I want to keep here, but the thing is, what are we doing? Uh, are we fighting for it? Okay. What are the things that we are doing if we want to keep in this position? What are the things that we are doing if, if we want to uh, feel comfortable? Well, more time than than than, than the, the that I have. Okay. So things like that, and, and that's a good point, sir. Uh, let's see, we're going to listen to the last one and it's going to be Miss Campos. Hello, teacher, how are you? <laughs> Hello, I, I, I'm fine, I'm fine, Miss. Uh, well, we're here discussing this quote and uh, let's see what you think. Uh, tell us, do you agree with this quote or do you disagree? Okay, about the... the the, <clears throat> the the phrase <laughs> how you say what? phrase what works okay I'm sorry but I think that you look that I was distracted <laughs> distracted <laughs> and you catch okay. me okay <laughs> okay uh, I think that uh, the the uh, phrase how do you say phrase what the works say about the when you have a problem, you only need a, a take your take your your tools and go, go ahead and look up look for future. And I don't know, and uh, you need it. You need to stay always, always um, ready for everything. Okay. I think, I don't know. Okay, that's good. That's a good point. So, yeah, and something that we have to keep in mind too is that if we lost something uh, in our life, remember that it's not the end of the war, okay? Uh, because we have. A, a lot of things that we can do. It doesn't matter if we lose it. Okay, w one of the things that, that we have to do is fight for it. But if we fail in that uh, in that fight, uh, what we have to do is move on. Okay, try to look something better, and and that's work. That's fun. Okay, let's go to the topic that we're going to be discussing tonight. Um, it says auxiliary verbs. That's the topic that we're going to be discussing. Um, what? Well, I forget this. Okay, here. Oh my God. Sorry, guys. Uh, okay, here. Here we have a, a, a video that's talk about uh, auxiliary verbs. We're going to watch this video. Do you have this video in the platform, okay? You have this video in uh, the English Corporativo dashboard. You are going to find it in the section number two. Uh, there is the place that you can uh, look for it. Well, we're going to start. I will play it and let me know if you can listen uh, the audio of this video. If not, uh, please try your hands uh, or well, open your microphone and tell me.
Let's practice your pronunciation. Listen and notice how the auxiliary verbs is, are, has, and have are reduced in a conversation. Listen and practice. Fresh water is being wasted. Too much trash has been created. Newspapers are being thrown away. Parks have been lost. Let's practice your pronunciation. Teacher, I have a question. This is only audio because I can the video. Okay, it's a video too. I don't know if you can you can watch the video. No, only audio. In my case, I don't know the other people. What about the rest? Okay, give me give me a second. I will try to fix it. Okay, um, I don't know why, but it's supposed that I ha I'm sharing the, the presentation. Can you see the, the slide that I have? Uh, hello? I'm sorry, how do you say? Can you see, hello? Okay. No worry. Can you see uh, the slide, the, the PPT, the PowerPoint no, presentation? No. You, you can see it. Okay, I will stop this and I will try to share again. What about the press? Uh, um, can you see the PowerPoint presentation? No, yes. Okay, what about now? Play. Hello. Play. Yes. Okay. okay. I will play it again and please pay attention. Uh, I used to, I used to uh, play the, the PowerPoint, present, PowerPoint presentation just once, but I will, um, I mean, this in a, I will do it again. Okay. Please pay attention to this video. Okay. Let's practice your pronunciation. Listen and notice how the auxiliary verbs is, are, has, and have are reduced in a conversation. Listen and practice. Fresh water's being wasted. Too much trash has been created. Newspapers are being thrown away. Parks have been lost. Okay, um, well, <laughs> sorry guys, I, I, I was drinking water. Um, we're discussing the, um, the auxiliary verbs and I will move to the following slide and it says, what does auxiliary verbs mean? Okay, what does auxiliary verbs mean? Um, do you have an answer for it? Hello. I'm sorry, repeat please, teacher. Do you have an answer for it? What does auxiliary uh, verbs mean? I have an idea. 
Ah, okay, T tell us. What do you think about it? Um, sometimes auxiliary verbs help us to know um, the time when we are talking about the tense. Ah, it okay, is present but... tense, okay. the uh, future, past, I think. Okay, okay. Those auxiliary verbs help us to construct those tenses. Very good. Uh, anybody else? Nobody? Okay, we're here to move. Um, let's see. Um, in English, we have a, a well five common auxiliary verbs. In well, along with this, these five verbs formed in English uh, that are called auxiliary verbs. Sometimes those are called helping verbs, and they are used a, well with the main verb to indicate a specific tenses, a, a specific aspect or voice. We can categorize auxiliary verbs in two ways. The primary verbs, V, uh, in this case, have and do, and also we have the modal auxiliary verbs. Uh, what are those? Okay, we can say some of them like can, like would, okay, like should, uh, that are a uh, helping verbs too. We're going to see how we can uh, well, we're going to see some examples about it. Um, here I have a, a chart um, where we have the verb be, have, and do that works as a, a, as a auxiliary verb in a sentence. Uh, for instance, we use the verb be for present continuous aspects, okay? Uh, and an example of this is like, the numbers are increasing, okay? The numbers are increasing. Uh, also, we have like, um, like uh, V, like with passive voice, uh, like we were developed. And also we have have like uh, working in, in, in present perfect aspect. And we so we can see the examples there, like it has improved and also we have do uh, that we can use it like in past negotiation, like in the example that we have here, they did not reduce, okay? They did not reduce. All those are working um, as uh, an auxiliary verb. And I will use the marker to identify them uh, in, the, um, in the sentence here. The verb be, okay, it is used with R. Okay, the verb be can be used to like where the verb have can be used like has, okay, or have. And, and also the, the verb do, we can use it like did. So if you see as those words there, we can identify that there are different, um, different, um, um, well, structures of those uh, verbs or of those auxiliary verbs. Um, we're going to move on to the following slide and we're going to see how we reduce some of them. We saw the main verb and now we're going to see um, some of the of the um, varieties of those verbs, of those auxiliary verbs and how we can reduce them, okay? For instance, when we want to construct a sentence in present, in, in present continuous, uh, we usually use the subject plus the verb be plus a, a, a word with ing form. And um, if we say, I am working, okay, I am working, we can uh, reduce that sentence saying, uh, I'm working, I'm working, okay? Uh, and also we have the, the, the verb is, okay? That in some sentence can be, 
can be used like um, it is, okay, it is, or we can uh, reduce that expression less saying it's, it's. What are we going to do right now? We're going to go to the breakout rooms and we're going to think about uh, the structure that you have discussed before, because you saw those structures in, in, in intermediate levels or in basic levels. And we're going to identify uh, what are some of the reduced uh, um, forms that we have in English for those verbs. Uh, we have, well, I have here just four using am, using uh, is, using are, and using have. But are, they, there are other forms that can be reduced. We're going to think on it, and then we're going to be back in the uh, general video conference, and we're going to discuss. You're going to have just five minutes. And, and to, tonight, it's going to be just five minutes, OK? So uh, please try to identify uh, the most if you can, um, and then you will be back. Uh, well, I will open the breakout rooms right now. Give me a second. You are seven, you're going to be in three or four. Uh, and please click on the option that it say join. Uh, see you in five minutes. Okay, think about reduce where. I don't know if you can you can understand what I'm asking you. Is it clear my instruction? before going to the breakout rooms? More or less. <laughs> okay, okay, more or less. Um, what I'm asking you is to think in reduced forms of auxiliary verbs. We saw that we have auxiliary verbs using have, using do, using uh, the verb be, okay? And there are others that you can, you, think, you can think on it. What we're going to look for it or think about those reduced verbs are like the constructions of those um, of those auxiliary verbs. Like for instance, when I'm saying you are, your, okay, that's a reduced, we are reducing that, that verb. Uh, or for instance, when we say uh, we were not, okay, how we can reduce that? Can you tell me? We were not. Weren't. Weren't, okay, that's a reduced verb. What you're going to do is look for more uh, examples of those reduced verbs. Is it clear now? Okay, very good. So go to the breakout rooms and I will see you in five minutes. Okay, bye bye. Nice. Nice. Everything yeah. is okay. 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 Welcome, Carlos. Hello, Carlos. Hmm. Okay. Who is the first to make an uh, example? I Do you have an idea how to make a sentence what the teacher said? And, uh, we have to make a sentence with reduce um, the verbs. I don't know how to say mm. the contraction. For example, um, yes, he said. In neighbor will make a contraction. That's right. That's right. For example, um, uh, it's my cat. So. Yeah. On the other example, I don't understand contraction. Okay. 
Yo, Carlos. Well, uh, for example, the teacher said, we are, we are. For example, the teacher said, you are, or we will not, we won't formulate a, a contractions. Uh, what kind of, of verb we can use? I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, another example is um, uh, the children's toys are broken. You, Jorge? You're working. You you work. You work tonight. Are you working tonight? Okay. For for instance, I'm working tonight. I'm working using a contraction. Yeah. That's right. I'm good. Um. And they are eating uh, the dinner. Hello, wow. Ariella. Hi, Ariella. Okay. Continues. Another example. Good evening, Ariela. She, she has a microphone. Microphone. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Uh, mm. If you want, Ariela, you can write an uh, example by, by chat. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, Carlos, I think Carlos. that the, the this year example using the the verb to be or uh, I'm working and I'm playing for example or you are you are fighting you're fighting using the contraction you're fighting yeah yeah. yeah. Another example, I didn't, uh, I didn't uh, exercise of part two, no, part one, I think. <laughs> they are, they are, they're uh, wrong. Yes. You go to the beach. Uh, yes, for example, they are there, using the contraction, there. Yeah, they're from Italian, they're from the United States, more or less. Okay, I have a question, everyone. Um, did you do the, um, the exercise part one? No, part two, part 1.2. Did you did it? Mm, for a moment, no good sign on here. And you, Jorge. <laughs> Sorry, me too. What?
lot of problems with the micro. Really? Okay. Yeah, listen. Um, I have a problem with the uh, with the exercise 1.2. Oh. I try uh, to to do, but uh, just one just one exercise is right. The others is wrong. I try um, the different kinds, but um, I can't find the the right answer. Answer. So. Okay, everybody, um, I was listening to you. And, and well, can you, what, what can you tell me about the, the reduced uh, verbs? Do you find any other uh, reduced verb? Teacher, mm. um, Another when you say I mean, reduce a verb is regarding to using using any verb in, in using the contraction, right? Okay, yeah. Uh, we're talking, uh, we're going to move. We are like step by step, okay? We're seeing um, how we can reduce verbs and then we're going to see uh, how we can uh, omit our, our well, uh, reduce verbs in a, in a sentence. We're going we're going here step by step. Okay. Uh, first of all, um, <clears throat> we saw in the presentation. I will uh, put it again here in the, the presentation. Okay. Uh, the ones that we have here are called constructions, and um, these are also known like uh, reduce verbs. Um, the reduce verbs is when we um, in, in, in speaking, okay? When we reduce verbs, it's like omitting a specific sound in a sentence. Uh, and I put an example before when uh, I, I was talking about the, um, about the, the example number one, uh, I am, okay, I am. Uh, sometimes we, we use this uh, structure, subject plus verb plus, the ing form to 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 express um, present continuous tense. Okay, and we can say, uh, for instance, I am uh, speaking. Okay, uh, or I am a, a well, um, a learning English. So, um, if we look at, at the sentence, we have a form in, in a way that we can reduce those those um, those words. And instead of saying I'm working or I am start, uh, I'm learning English, I can say I'm learning English. Okay, I'm speaking, I'm working. Instead of saying I am, I don't know if it's clear what I'm saying. Okay, um, I understand now. Okay, you you got you got uh you got that right? Well, I, I will show you right now um, the the dashboard of the uh, English Corporativo where you're going to find some exercises about how we can reduce auxiliary verbs. Okay or a uh, also cool helping birds. Take a look of this. Well, give me a second because it's uh, Okay. Can you see uh, the, um, the the Chrome that I have open? Oh. 
Oh. Oh. Yeah, this. Okay, very good. So we're 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 going to um. No, I mean, uh, well, I have a problem here. <laughs> Give me a second, cause uh, my computer is it's getting crazy right now. Okay, uh, well, I don't know if you can see this. Okay, it's like like flashing. Uh, oh, okay uh give me a second I, I, well, what i'm going to do is try to look for the video in youtube because it's better i don't know what uh, it works in uh, this video is so bad okay i'm going to do this and this, this. Okay. Um, uh um, now I can show you this, and I can show you this. Can you see now the, the this part of the video? Okay. Can you see this part of the video? Please let me know. Yes, no? Yes, okay, very good. So, take a look at this. Um, here we have some examples and it said fresh water has been wasted. Uh, as we saw before, we have uh, some uh, reduced words uh, where we omit a specific part of that, uh, of that, of those words, okay? Uh, like, it, like I was explaining for like instead of saying I am, I can say am, okay. But when we're talking about auxiliary verbs, there are other forms while speaking when we can reduce when we can reduce the words. Okay. Um, well, check it out. The the omit letter that we have in each of the auxiliary verbs there. Okay. It says. Newspapers are being thrown away. Uh, what we're doing there, it's omitting the letter A, okay? In the example, in the first example, what it says, fresh water's been, been wasted, okay? Um, this uh, form of reduced verb, we can use it while speaking as we can, um, uh, we can see, uh, uh, well, as we saw with the other reduced words that we have in English that are also called uh, constructions. Um, how we are going to do this, okay? What we are going to do this? Well, in, in a conversation, um, first of all, I, I have to tell you this, okay? Uh, we have American English and we have a uh, British English. Okay, in American English, that is the, the ones that we're learning right now, uh, in American English, uh, uh, the gringos, okay, uh, used to reduce most of the words in English uh, because they like to speak so fast. Uh, and in that way, um, sometimes it, we can listen that they omit some uh, a specific uh, uh, well, letters in, in some words in English. Uh, and those 
uh, where are, are there are a, a lot of words that we can reduce in, in English, but uh, when we're talking about auxiliary verbs, uh, they sometimes um, they do not pronounce they do not pronounce um, the first uh, vowel, the first syllables of the auxiliary verbs. Uh, for instance, uh, we we saw that um, we can say he is his, okay. Like instead of saying fresh water is being wasted, they say fresh fresh water's been wasted, been wasted without pronouncing the the correct pronunciation of is. I don't know if you can get it now. Repeat, please. Okay. Uh, when we use reduce words, it's more like the constructions that we saw before. Uh, for instance, if we say she is working, we can say she's working, she's working, okay? In, in those uh, omitted uh, syllables or letters in English, uh, or well, particles in, in pronunciation, we can use it in some other sentence. And uh, when we use the auxiliary verbs, uh, and we have the examples here, like um, uh, the example number four, that it says, parks have been lost, okay? Parks have been lost. That's the correct pronunciation of it. But if we try, if we try to say it faster, um, or, or if we omit the, those letters that we have there, the, the ones that are deleted, we can say parts have been lost up, okay? Without saying have, we say have, have, okay? Or, um, so I, I don't know, it's like, this is like a, 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 a phoneme uh, in English. Um, it's just omitted. Or oh, oh, in the example number three, that it says, too much trash has been created. Has been created. If we omit the letters, we can say, too much trash has been created. Cre without pronouncing el ha, ha, okay? In the word has. We say, too much trash has been created. Like a uh, has been without, pro without pronouncing the vowels. Is it clear what I'm saying, or it's a little bit confused? It's clear. It's clear. Okay. Okay. What about the rest? Uh, Miss Campos, Mr. Castillos, uh, Mr. Gaviria, Miss Rivas. Yes, Ms. sir. It's clear, but I, <laughs> it's okay. difficult for for us. It, it's difficult. To the yes. beginning to pronounce correctly, man. It, it is a little bit difficult in, in, in pronunciation, okay? In pronunciation, because we are not, um, we're learning English, we tend to, well, it's okay, and it must be in that way, uh, learn English, um, pronouncing the words correctly, okay? It, that's, that's the things that we try to look for, but, when, when we see real, um, real conversations uh, or with, when we're talking with um, people that speak that uh, their native language is English, we're going to see that they use these kind of things. And uh, there is when we're going to uh, feel us like a little bit lost because we don't know what they are saying. And uh, for that reason, we have to learn those things. Um, that are that are not correct to do it, but they are used because if you are a well, imagine if you are if you are in a debate, okay, you won't use this kind of a, a omissions or reductions of, of, of auxiliary verbs. You're going to a, you're going to be talking um, using technical words and pronouncing the words correctly because that's part of the uh, academic things that you are that you are uh, uh, doing, but if you are uh, with your friends, okay, with your family, uh, it's not the same, right? We are not using their academic uh, vocabulary. We are using uh, our daily vocabulary, uh, daily uh, 
Well, <clears throat> uh, pronunciate, uh, well, worst pronunciations um, <clears throat> in English. And there is when we uh, find these, uh, these uh, kind of things, okay? Uh, is it clear, guys? Yes. Okay, very good. Okay, very good. Well, <laughs> uh, that's happened in, in English, and we're going to see a lot of it uh, later. But now the time is over, and um, I want to open a space uh, for you to uh, make questions. I don't know if you have it uh, or not. Please let me know. This is the, the, the moment that you can ask uh, something about uh, the, the, the course, about this uh, class. Okay, let me know. Teacher. Okay. I'm just confused about the, the exercise on the well. Okay. I don't really know how to solve them. I write it down in the group in WhatsApp, but no one answered me. I think just one person oh, okay. says to me that wasn't right, all the answers. So I don't know, because I try with ING, I try with past, past participle and none of the answers I write it down are correct. So I really? can move on. Okay. Or keep okay, working. Okay. Uh, well, we're going to solve that uh, in the WhatsApp group. Uh, can you please take a screenshot of those exercises and I will be giving you a feedback yeah, in I order would... to, you already did? Yeah. Ah, okay. I, I haven't seen it today. I haven't seen that. In I the haven't seen afternoon. that. I haven't seen that. I, I'm going to check that information that you sent and I will be giving you a feedback per each of the, uh, of the exercise that you sent there. Um, um, because, well, in the platforms, uh, uh, sometimes we're going to find uh, some uh, errors uh, that that yeah, are there. I but but one. but if uh, sorry, I find one. You find one. One word, who, uh, yeah, uh, was 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 wrong. Okay. In the tree, the number three. In the number three. Uh, okay, because uh, yeah. what we have to do in those cases is to contact technical support because they are the ones in charge to solve those problems. And if you send okay. that information to me, I can uh, translate, uh, well, keep that information that you send me to them, or uh, sometimes you can contact them uh, uh, directly. But the, uh, if I can solve it, I will do it, okay? Um, okay. I will give you a, a feedback. Uh, to those things that you sent uh, in a moment. I will do it um, after this video conference. And Fine. let's see what is happening. Let's see what is happening, okay? Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, you. <laughs> you're welcome. Uh, is anyone else here that uh, have a uh, question for me? Please tell me yes, no, because in that way I can, I can have a feedback about it. For the moment, no. Teacher. Okay. Thank you, sir. I Thank you. We need to advance, and the, the platform is necessary to the field and the, the information, and and, and that to be continued the next week. It's possible to ask you the different situation or or, or issues in the platform. Okay, okay. Um, well, I, I will be helping you or to well, everybody um, uh, using the, 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 well, checking the, the screenshot that you sent to me. Um, one of the things that I have to mention, this is an information to everybody, um, and it is related to um, the, the WhatsApp group. If you're going to send me uh, a direct message, uh, I can answer in that way, must be in the WhatsApp group because all the information that uh, we have in the platform, in the platforms, uh, helps to everybody, okay? If I, um, if I'm, I am uh, like uh, 
writing uh, a direct message. Maybe someone else is going to uh, ask me the same, then the other is going to ask me the same. And it is better if you ask me in the WhatsApp group, I send an answer and everybody knows that answer. And, and, and it, it, it's better for me and it's better for you because if someone else uh, asks that, you have an answer there, okay? Um, th this is because um, sometimes well, it, it, um, this doesn't happen uh, with this group, but some groups before um, used to used to send me direct message and I was like uh, answering all the chats that uh, they, they were sending me. And it, it, it is a little bit complicated. Uh, it's better if I answer there in the group and you have an answer. Okay, guys, uh, if you don't have a question, uh, I have to say goodbyes and blessing to all of you. And thank you for being here in this video conference tonight. Uh, I will see you. This is the last video conference from uh, for the week. Uh, and I will see you till Monday, okay? If you have any questions during this uh, weekend, send it to me and I will try to solve it as soon as possible, okay? Bye-bye and um, see you later. See you later. See, see you later. later. See you next. Bye. 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 Bye.